Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is just my last tidy up for the winter. As you can see, everything's dying back now. These are trying to consistently put in the uh, greenhouse to protect. But yeah, as you can see, everything's dying or dead. Need to put stuff back, collect any seed if there's any stuff that need collecting. But yeah, just use the hand trowel, I don't use my spade or anything to get in between these plants, don't want to disturb them too much. These are my uh, white stocks, beautiful scented. This is a beautiful looping when it flowers. That one's really beefed up nicely. I've got some nice pinks here, carnations. And that is Easter bonnet, which is going to be nice. Aquilegia. Nice hollyhocks are here. Looking well, leading cutting back. These are my Japanese anemones. Let me put him back. I've got my peonies here. I shall use my pots that need going through. I, I just hope the frost doesn't damage things too badly. Oh, because otherwise all this could be dead wood, which I'm not looking forward to. Yeah, right, right around there. This is a section I just let grow wild this year. It didn't look too bad actually. There's some uh, perennial poppies at the front and I've got some all this needs this borage stuff needs to cut it digging up and get in the, it's a massive root system I would recommend that if you're going to grow it put it in pots a lot of people use it for uh, an organic fertiliser you put it in a pot and let it stew down and put the liquid on but yeah as you can see here nice peony here you see the uh, shoots have been that warm I don't think there's no, no water. No matter what's happening. No, 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 an autumn be as warm as this, but you can see the new shoots there. For these peonies, you don't want to plant them too deep. Otherwise, they don't tend to flower. More stalks. Look at this with the rust on these. Good example. Just gets so bad with it. But, um, you see all the yellow spots on the top? The damage, the pustules right underneath. All that needs spraying. These are all the hybrids you see. They tend to produce beautiful flowers, but they don't have any immune system. I have some seeds here. These are my. Uh, let's wait a minute. Called Lucifer, anyway. My dyslexia is so bad. I always forget the name of plants. I've you know, said them a thousand times. But yeah. Penstemon. There, nice blue variety. I get panthers in pots. These are my, well, I've let dry out. Planters, there should be some nice. There's no need tubers in there, hopefully. If they're not succumb to the frost. These. Let's see, that one looks pretty good. Yep, yeah, I'll take these in. Today or tomorrow, empty them. And get the tubers out. This one here as well. Yeah, all this needs doing. This has already been cut back. Yeah, look at this climber. It didn't do very well to uh, this year. And now it's really taking off like a rocket. Let's look at this one, shall we? Let's bring them down here. Yeah, this one's doing well as well. Look at that one. It's nice. I like climbers. This smells clotted cream, it's called this one. It smells absolutely divine for about three or four weeks. It all comes into the house. The pots around here, these are what I got from Thompson and Morgan. These are plug plants that they got left and they didn't get looked after properly. Water and slug and snail damage, but they're coming back nicely now. They're robust little so so. As you can see here, they really start to look well now. Now we're getting plenty of water. That one, yeah, some lovely flowers there, as you can see. But yeah, that's a quick walk round. I shall be uh, turning it up so the next video will be when it's all done, hopefully.